Hi, this is Maginoni, and here's my One Piece haul for uh, the week of May 24th. Uh, these are volumes 49 through 53, and in a way, this is basically the catalyst for the one of the most amazing story arcs you will ever read in the history of comics. Nothing I've read, and I believe me, I've read a lot of Marvel, I've read a lot of DC, Independent, like Dark Horse, and IDW. Nothing compares to what is to come. And this here is the start of everything. Now, in that volume 49, we have the ending, nearing the ending of the battle with Ors and Thrill Apart. Well, I should say Ors gets defeated here, but now this is when Mora comes into play. After they beat Mora in volume 50, we learn the history of Brook and how he's connected to the Whale Laboon. From there, you have the beginning parts of the Sabadee story arc. What happens is Luffy and his crew meet these people who are trying to kidnap a mermaid. What they want to do is they want to take the mermaid and sell the mermaid onto a human auction. Of course, Luffy and his crew will have absolutely no part of this at all. In volume 51, you have the mermaid rescued, and this is where you learn Luffy has a special hidden power that very few people have. Uh, for example, the power is already shown through Whitebeard and Shanks. Now, once they're able to save the mermaid, they go to this island where, basically, uh, it's it's kind of like a weird resort-type island where there's like an amusement park, people come for shipbuilding, it's right near the marines, and it's kind of has a weird balance where pirates can come there and nobody bothers them as long as pirates don't cause trouble. There's also the Celestial Dragons on this island, series of islands, and the Celestial Dragons are the most powerful people in the world. They're, just imagine, the richest, most uh, world nobles ever, and it's kind of like when a Celestial Dragon walks through town, you have to stop whatever you're doing and bow down to them, or you'll get killed. Now, also what's, in, in this arc, while they're waiting to get their ship refitted so this way it can go under the water, uh, you also are introduced to other characters that were uh, connected with Gold Roger. Now, while Luffy and his crew are out playing, Cammy gets kidnapped and is sold into um, a human auction. Now, what's really important with this volume here is you have the introduction of the new generation of pirates. Now, all these pirates here on the cover are basically the the, um, the newest, most up-and-coming pirates. And th these would be the people that would replace people like Whitebeard and Blackbeard, Shanks, and people like that. Now, Luffy and his crew discover that uh, Kami is being sold into slavery, and they try to stop that from happening. Half the crew arrive early, they hope to buy the mermaid out, but the mermaid costs too much money, so they're not able to do it. Luckily, Luffy comes in at, and goes to save Kami. The problem is, a world noble has purchased Kami, and when Hachi goes to protest it, the world noble shoots Hachi. If you remember Hachi, he was part of the fish fishermen uh, pirates way way back when at the beginning parts of the storyline. Luffy will have absolutely no part in that and he reacts the way Luffy normally would react and punches the world noble in the face. This was like an amazing picture. I just love this picture. I wish it was bigger. I wish it didn't have this crease in the middle. I love it so much. And then the next volume, continue next. You can tell by the reaction of the people, this is not going to be good. Volume 52. Total chaos erupts in, the, in this island. 
Do you, do you see all these happy, smiling faces? None of this happens in the book. You have total chaos. The Marines are coming in. High, powerful Marines are coming in. More powerful Marines than they've ever seen before have come in. They're cleaning house. The you see the new generation of pirates fighting. They're getting their butts kicked. Luffy and his crew meet up with Kuma again, and Kuma t just tears them apart. But what Kuma does is a little different than when I refer to it as tearing them apart. While they're not able to hurt Kuma, he has a power to send them away. And he sends each one of the pirates away to, to a random island extremely far away from each other. And this sets the stage for Luffy and his search for Ace, or sorry, his rescue base. In volume 53, the final one that came out for that week, Luffy lands on a planet of women. And what's kind of funny is Luffy, you know, while somebody like Sanji or Zoro might be affected by this, Luffy has, these women have absolutely no effect on Luffy at all. Through, because Luffy is forced to battle the two sisters here, and he shows that he has that spirit power, like a, remember when I say spirit, I mean that is the inner, inner soul versus metaphysically speaking, that only one in millions have. And the ice cold queen finally, basically, uh, um, Bo Hancock basically starts to fall in love with Luffy. And because what her expectation is for what a man is supposed to do, he doesn't do. Now, from here, um, he basically ignores every one of her sexual advances, and he later learns that Ace is in trouble. Because Bo is in love with Luffy, she will do whatever it takes to, you know, to help him. And that's where this volume ends right here. Uh, if, like I said before earlier, this is right now the greatest time for One Piece. This is basically setting the stage for the next gener the next half of the story storylines. Um, incredible fighting is about to happen, and. I would highly recommend if you're not reading One Piece, you have to start reading now because it's going to get really, really good in the future. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free um, to post them. Uh, post which um, of the new pirates you like the most. Let me know. And um, until next time.